Hi families, welcome back to another phonics video. Today we're going to be talking about what is a syllable and we're also going to be talking about um, when Y becomes a vowel. So usually we say that our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, and we say, and sometimes Y. And this is gonna be the time when we figure out when Y becomes a vowel. So sometimes Y will actually say E or I like the vowel. So it's gonna say its name. So we're gonna learn all about that and learn all the rules. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So first of all, a syllable. What is it? We're not sure. So a syllable is just a part of the word that includes consonants and a vowel. So sometimes some words, when they get harder and they get longer, there's more than one vowel. Let's look at this word, okay? Um, let's see. Oops, sorry guys. All right, so this word is birth. So if we were to clap it out with our syllables, it just has one vowel in it, so we would just clap one time for one syllable, birth. But watch as I add this next part to the word, ready? Now look at the end, now we have the word birthday. So if we were to clap it out, we would go like this, birthday, because it has two vowels in the word part and the word is split up after birth, so this is one word, this is the next word. So it has two syllables in this word. So this word is multisyllabic. Can you say multisyllabic? Awesome job, you're doing so good with that college vocabulary. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at words that end in Y. And sometimes Y is going to say I, or it's gonna say E. So let me start by saying some words, and then I want you to tell me what sound you hear, okay? All right, ready? Tacky, candy, tricky. What sound do you hear at the end of these words? Right, you hear E. Would you believe me if I told you that the letter is actually Y at the end, but it's saying E? Well, it's true, guys. So in this case, this is when Y becomes a vowel, and Y is going to say E, even though it's not usually like that in other words. But in this word, it's called a multisyllabic word, meaning that it has more than one vowel in it. All right, we're gonna use this card to help us remember our pattern. So what we're gonna say is when we see it, we're gonna say Y, Penny, E. Ready? Y, Penny, E. Awesome job, so in this word penny, like the coin, it has two vowels. So we have the first vowel is the E, and then our Y is pretending to be a vowel. So this is our exception to the rule. When we say our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, and sometimes Y, this is the case where Y is pretending to be a vowel. So it's gonna say E because we have more than one vowel. Okay, it's multisyllabic. So when we look at this word, we're gonna say penny. And if we were to clap it, we'd go like this, penny. Awesome job. Listen to me as I say these next words, ready? Cry, spy, shy, fly. What sounds do you hear that's the same in these words? Right, you hear I at the end. Okay, would you believe me if I told you that that was also the letter Y that was pretending to say I? It's pretending to be a vowel. Sometimes it can be a consonant, but in this case, Y is actually a vowel because it's going to say I like a vowel. So when we see our card, sorry, when we see our card, we're gonna say Y fly I. Ready? Y fly I. Awesome job. Just like in the word fly. Y at the end says I. It pretends to be a, a vowel. So in both cases, this one has one syllable, so it says I, but this word penny so it has two syllables, so it says E. Let's, all right, let's listen to our words so that we can clap them out. So I'm gonna say the word and we're gonna figure out how many syllables are in this word. Ready? Tacky, ready, let's clap it. Tacky, how many syllables? It has two syllables, awesome job. So that means that Y is gonna say E because it has more than one syllable. Let's do this next word, ready? Spy. Let's clap it. Spy. It only has one vowel and it only has one syllable. So it's going to say Y is going to say I. Let's look at this next one. Ready? Candy. Candy. 
So it has two syllables, so Y says E in this case. Let's look at the next one, shy. Let's clap it, shy. So it only has one syllable, so it's gonna say I. So that's gonna be our rule. We're gonna look at our words, we're gonna see if it has the Y at the end. Y is gonna pretend to be a vowel, and if it has more than one syllable, like two or more, then we know that Y is going to say E like in tricky. But if it only has one syllable, we're know that we are going to know that it's going to say I like in the word shy or fly or spy. Okay? Awesome job. Thank you guys so much for working with me today. And I hope that this helps you with your phonics patterns this week. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!